this video, we will show you how to set up different high and low alerts available on your Guardian Connect system and discuss other alert features. Keep in mind that the settings used in this video are for illustrative purposes only. Be sure to discuss with your healthcare provider what your settings should be. Let's start by accessing the Alert Settings menu. Begin by tapping on the menu icon in the top left corner of your home screen. Tap on Alert Settings. Here, you'll see a list of the different settings ranging from high alerts to audio settings. Tap on High Alerts. You'll see the option to set your high limit, alert on high, and alert before high. You'll also notice you have an option for your high alerts to be the same throughout the day using the All Day feature. You can also turn off the All Day feature, so you have the option to program two sets of alerts for daytime and nighttime instead. If you choose to have two limits set, you'll see you now have two sections to complete, Day Alerts and Night Alerts. Let's start with Day Alerts. Here, you can change the time you want your day to start by tapping on the time and scrolling to the time of your choice. Next, tap on High Limit and select the limit you would like to be alerted. Now you can select what type of high alert you'd like to receive when you reach the high limit. To select an alert, use the slider to turn it on. If you choose to be alerted before you reach the high limit by turning on Alert Before High, you will also need to set the time before high. Now that you have set up your day alerts, you can do the same for the night alerts down below. When you're done, press Save. Now we'll look at low alerts. Tap on Low Alerts, and you will see the screen is very similar to the High Alerts section. As with High Alerts, you can choose to have a single limit and set of alerts for the entire day, or choose to have two separate sets of alerts for day and night. Continue to set your low limit and alerts. When you are done, press Save. If your healthcare provider has prescribed the Rise or Fall Rate Alerts, tap on Rate Alerts. Here, you will see the options to set your rise rate and fall rate. These settings will alert you when your glucose is rising or falling at a rate you set. Your healthcare provider will work with you to decide what your settings should be. After you are done setting your rate alerts, tap Save. Next, tap Calibration Reminder. The Calibration Reminder feature will provide a reminder before sensor calibration is due based on the time that you set. The default calibration reminder time is one hour. If you decide to change this setting, be sure to tap Save to save your settings. Alerts can also be snoozed using the Snooze feature. To change the default snooze time for high and low alerts, tap on Snooze Time and choose either High and Rise Alerts or Low and Fall Alerts to select the time you'd like these alarms to be snoozed and tap Save to save your settings. It's important to note that your Guardian Connect app will override the ringer volume of your mobile device as long as notifications are enabled for the Guardian Connect app. This feature, called Audio Override, is already turned on for all app alerts when you first start using your app. This means that the app will alert you at maximum volume, even if your mobile device's ringer volume is set to Do Not Disturb, Low Volume, or Silent. To change your audio override settings, Tap Audio to reach your audio settings. From here, you can turn off the Audio Override feature completely, or you can turn off the override settings for your low alerts, high alerts, or status alerts. Before you turn off Audio Override or the override setting for any alerts, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider to determine what setting is best for you. If you do decide to turn off Audio Override, it is recommended to set your mobile device's ringer volume high enough so that you can always hear your Guardian Connect alerts. Note that as long as Guardian Connect notifications are on, the urgent low alert will always override your ringer, regardless of your override settings. To return to the home screen, tap Home. Now that you've set up your high and low limits, you'll see the limits you set appear on the graph. The low limit will be shown as a red line at the bottom of the graph, and the high limit will be shown as an orange line above it. 
Your Guardian Connect app is now ready to use. If you have any questions on how to use your app, please refer back to your system user guide or any of our online training resources. Mm -hmm.